Hello everybody, this is Autism Father, playing a little bit of Minecraft, but not your usual, regular Minecraft. This is actually Captive Minecraft Part 2. Um, I didn't get to play Part 1, and I'm kind of skipping it, which I probably shouldn't, but I'm going straight to Part 2 because I've seen some videos on it, and it looks really epic, really difficult. Most people don't actually finish according to the videos, so I can't promise anything. I don't know how well I'll do. But the premise of this game is that it takes advantage of a new feature in the snapshots. Uh, I'm playing 14W21B. Uh, if you go and look at the download for this game, um, it's not really a mod, it's a world. It, it uses vanilla Minecraft, but it's a world that you download and load up. Um, and the link is in the description. Uh, if you go and check it out, it says to use this version specifically because later snapshots actually break it. So we're doing this snapshot, 1421B. And the way this one works is it uses this new world border. So I can't actually go anywhere, do anything. We have to start getting stuff going because it does get nighttime. Um, you expand this border by half a block every single time you get an achievement. So you see how it turns green? And it expands. So now what I can do is I can move. So we have to dig down and see what we can do. And we need to keep everything we have. So if we go to, um, I don't even remember how to, oh it's achievements right here. Uh, so you see getting wood. There's no wood for me to get around here, but down below there, I'm sure there will be. And then as I get wood, I can get crafting, and then I can make swords, and I can do all this stuff. And every time I do, the world expands. And if you look around, I know I'm wasting so much time. If you look around, there's a chest up there. Uh, there's a chest right there. Uh, over there, up there. All over the place, there's chests. And down below, there's other things too. So... As you expand this stuff, you, you get access to more things. And as you get access to more things, it gets more challenging. But, um, you know, you feel like you're accomplishing things. Instead of just exploring and playing regular Minecraft, you're, you're trying to accomplish all these different tasks and goals so that you can get further. Um, the first captive Minecraft was basically, that's it, that's what you do. You, you try to accomplish all of your different achievements and, and get your world border as far as you can. In this one, there's actually a room of monuments, which I, I believe I'm digging down to right now. Um, which means that not only are you trying to ex expand your world border, but you are also... I'm not gonna be able to get back up now. Um, you're also going to be trying to collect wool. And this wool you'll be able to place on the monuments, and when you do that, it'll give you more rewards. Because there's some achievements you just simply will not be able to get. Boom. Room of monuments. Again, that's another thing that's in the snapshot. You can make that happen. So let's take a look. We have some clay. We have tons of red sand now. Um, some basic tools, which are basically broken. The sword's okay. Yeah. There we go. So, this is the room of monuments. And each one of these you can place wool. But of course we cannot do that yet. Uh, we probably don't want to break right where we'll fall. So let's go over here. <clears throat> and the map maker was very careful, I believe, I hope. <laughs> I mean, this is achievable, right? So. The way he made it was so that um, you get exactly what you need. There shouldn't be, unless you die a lot, I think, and lose a lot of the things that you're supposed to have. Um, see, there's iron. Um, you should get wood right when you need wood to be able to progress to the next stage, right? Uh, and things like that. So if we place this... Yeah. 
And here's some more supplies we can work with, including wood. Achievement get. Border turns green and expands. Ta-da. So now if we take this and do this, benchmarking. And then, ta-da. So now we can get more wood and do more things. And there's a chest. Complete with apples, and that's a poison potato. But it says regular. Don't believe it. I don't believe it. I'm not going to eat that. But I will take this. So, I can't open this door. I can't get to the door yet, because this is halfway. And I hear... Zombies. Alright, so I have some things. Uh... Hmm. What are we going to find below, I wonder? Well, uh, just like before, let's break this for now. It's going to be all stone underneath, isn't it? And a skeleton. Hmm. All right. So what we need to do is use this, which I believe has exactly three uses before it breaks. And that's because, let's put that there. Um, we have exactly enough. Let's do exactly what we need instead of, we have exactly enough to do this now. Achievement get. Aha. Good stuff. Um, now we can take these. I think one will do for in here. This is on hard mode, which does mean that which does mean that um, mobs can spawn in the dark. Hmm. Let's get ourselves some cobble here. Diorite. Is that diorite? Diorite. Pretty useless. Is despair, but whatever. Really don't want to fall down. Uh, but we can do this. Aha! Achievement get. Can't go anywhere yet, but hey, we can open and close that now. Alright. Um. Just going to keep on emptying this out. Is this all hollow? It is. And that is a zombie and a skeleton. Hmm. I wonder if this means that there's no way to get down there without dropping. That's 
that's big empty. Big ol' empty space is what that is. Hmm. <laughs> well, this gives us a good introduction. So I am going to cut it here because I'm going to go back up. I'm going to establish myself a little bit of base of a base. Um, you'll be able to see that when we come back. But I'm going to call it an end for the first episode already. Aha, uh -huh, another torch. See that? Uh, so thanks for watching. Tune in for the next one. We're going to uh, see if we can get down there and take on some mobs and, and maybe not die. Maybe. Um, but yes, link in the description if you'd like to check this out for yourself. Because it looks pretty cool. Oh, we're getting close to our first one. Alright, so um, tune in the next one. Give me a subscribe and a like if you uh, enjoy this video. And let's see if we can get ourselves some monuments going. Ciao for now.